Maine's governor won't expand Medicaid despite approval of ballot measure Maine Governor Paul Leapage, R, said Wednesday his administration will not expand Medicaid until the state finds a way to pay for it, a day after voters approved a ballot measure to broaden the program. Credit agencies are predicting that this fiscally irresponsible Medicaid expansion will be ruinous to Maine's budget, Leapage said in a statement. Therefore, my administration will not implement Medicaid expansion until it has been fully funded by the legislature at the levels the Department of Health and Human Services has calculated, and I will not support increasing taxes on Maine families, rating the rainy day fund or reducing services to our elderly or disabled. Maine voters on Tuesday approved a ballot measure calling for the state to expand Medicaid under Obamacare, the first state to do so through a referendum. Leapage, who is term limited out of office next year, has previously vetoed five Medicaid expansion bills passed by the state's legislature, arguing that such a move would be disastrous for the state's economy. Maine's House Speaker Sarah Gideon, D, said in a statement that the legislature would implement the Medicaid expansion measure and will fight the governor if he tries to intervene. The legislature will move swiftly to fund Medicaid expansion as required by law. The governor and DHHS commissioner will implement its requirements as well, as they are obligated to do, Gideon said. Any attempts to illegally delay or subvert this law will not be tolerated and will be fought with every recourse at our disposal. Mainers demanded affordable access to health care yesterday, and that is exactly what we intend to deliver, she added. Under Obamacare. The federal government paid for the entire cost of states that chose to expand Medicaid up until this year, when that support dropped to 95 percent. The federal share will eventually drop to 90 percent. Some of the states that expanded Medicaid early have been paying for their share with taxes on providers. Leapage said expansion will give free health care to working-age, able-bodied adults, most of whom do not have dependents. About 80,000 Maine residents living below 133 percent of the federal poverty line will now be eligible for the state's Medicaid program, according to the state. If the measure is implemented, Maine would be the 32nd state, along with Washington, D.C., to expand Medicaid. Please share this post on Facebook with your thoughts.